This morning, we are your hurricane headquarters. Just moments ago into the newsroom, you are tracking a tropical depression. Yeah, now. it was interesting. I put this out on Twitter, and I said this about 15 minutes ago, as we were starting to get some interesting data from the Hurricane Center, because yeah. the system that's in the North Atlantic was labeled Tropical Depression Invest 93L. That's not a real thing. So they were starting to make that transition from what we were tracking as Invest 93L in the North Central Atlantic yesterday to now what is Tropical Depression number five. So let's get right to this latest information that just came down from the Hurricane Center. Uh, this is out ahead of what they would typically issue as their five o'clock advisory when you have a tropical depression, a tropical storm or a hurricane. We start to get into that cycle of getting those updates around five o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock in the morning, and and then 5 o'clock and 11 o'clock in, in the afternoons with some intermediate advisories. But here's what we're looking at. Tropical depression number five. It's in the north central Atlantic. Not a concern. We have a couple of other systems that we're watching. We may see another tropical depression come from Invest 91L. We'll talk about that more during the five and six o'clock hours of Brightside. But let me take you down to this system, our, our newest tropical depression, actually starting to see some activity as we enter September and typically the peak of hurricane season. There it is moving to the east northeast at a fast two miles per hour. This thing's going to stay right where it is. Sustained winds currently at 35 miles per hour. It is forecast to become a tropical storm, likely tropical storm Danielle over the next probably six to 12 hours here as it just spins around actually forecast to become a hurricane. Our first hurricane of the hurricane season this season. But again, it's just going to stay basically where it is as it tracks to the north and then ultimately through the second half of the of next week it's forecast to track out towards the east. But again,